Welcome back to another episode of Sailing Kachalfa. This episode we do some pretty awesome things, so make sure you stay tuned. Like and subscribe. All right, let's go see what we get up to. We are an Australian family that made our boat Catalpa our home and set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us in our travels as we share our life on the sea. They never seem to plead my... Wafo is two islands linked together by stretches of coral reef in North Raja Ampat and is an uninhabited island off the southwestern coast of Waisai. The beaches here are stunning. Picture perfect from above, Wapo's real charm lies beneath the ocean. Time has gone and I grew up, I somehow made it through without losing sight. Mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are, and if you found a way out from Stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm, And this road that I am on I gotta stay here for some time mm. We were super lucky with the weather as this anchorage can get a little uncomfortable as it's not entirely protected. But have a look at this, what a beautiful day. The ocean is so calm you can see the reflection of the sky, making it appear that the boats are floating amongst the clouds. This is us climbing here in Wapo, one of my favourite things to do. But it's a little bit of a challenge. First you have to find the perfect rock. So you have to find somewhere where it's deep enough for you to jump and won't hit the bottom. Then you've got to find somewhere with good holes and high enough that it's fun. When you get to the top, that is the hardest part for me because you have to try and hold on and get the coconuts off at the same time. To get the coconuts off, you have to twist them until they come loose. Or you can bring a knife up and chop them, which is easier. But it is worth it with a delicious drink at the end.
We met a guy here on the beach that mum got talking to. He owned a homestay from an island nearby our last anchorage. He was here with his buddies diving and said this was a great scuba diving guide for Rajaram Park. Sometimes when I turn we head to the beach for some beach volleyball. Matt and Chuck made a pretty sweet setup. <laughs> Tara was super excited. Isn't it? You guys are doing a good job. Illusions, oh, I am. They set me free. The me back out. And it was parents versus kids. Of course, the kids won, from what I remember. Not tonight, no, not tonight. Illusions, oh, I Man, I have massive respect for the free climbers out there. The strength you need in your hands is crazy and I'm loving practicing and getting better. It looks easy, but if you can't find any good holding, you can be stuck in a spot for a while. Chuck and mum weren't too bad at climbing either. It really does feel higher than it looks. Oh, mum's going for the top. Careful, baby. We're just pulling um, the anchor from Lofo, beautiful little island that we've had a couple of days at. Um, yeah, it's really nice here. We didn't dive because we snorkeled and the water wasn't super clear, so we um, just had a bit of a snorkel around. Uh, we played volleyball on the beach, had a few fires. It was really nice. We didn't plan on staying here very long, but um, I'm glad we did. We had some really nice days. It is raining now and we are heading to Kauai, which is right on the equator. So we will probably cross the equator again today. the equator and we're just going to give a gift to Kim Neptune. A little bit of a, a gift from Catalpa to the sea. Captain's yelling at me that might have been a little bit too big a gift but um, we'll have some. Cheers Kim Neptune and again and uh, we had a bit of a snorkel. It's really nice over here. It was clear water and it's supposed to be mantis but I didn't see any. Washing this morning, and um, that's about all. 
at WAG to one of the most picture perfect anchorages we have ever seen. We anchored and stern tied to the beach and rafted up with our mates on Nalakai. Drop in Bell and I might need you just while we're not anchored yet. Uh, how much chain we got out, honey? Um, 60. So I can tie it and pull it and pull it if we need to pull off the beach. Yeah. on the beach looking for somewhere to tie off. Lee's just going to go over as far as things he found somewhere so he's just checking. I was going to make sure that I don't swing around and I am going to make sure we don't end up on that sandbank. <laughs> Malachi kids have got a big anchor I think in their boat. Are they going to put an anchor out? Taj found a place to tie off to over here. So we'll run our big rope. And then we'll side tie. Once the sun comes out here, it'll be oh magical. So it's turned not ideal real quick. You're right, babe. Well I got two lines out now. He's putting an anchor out on the beach over there. Is so he gonna hold? I'm put up with changes. Come pick me up because I just wanna see the light. I wanna be weightless. Teach me to fly. I won't be coming down. I'm coming to inspect your tie. Somebody up. wake me up. <laughs> I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by. Yeah. I just see your face where. I'm just gonna put that back on the curb, give me enough just to maybe get to there. So sick of waiting and getting too restless to be in this dusty town. I've heard of this place where people forget and you get another try. So come open up my door. I don't want to be here and let the world pass me by. I won't see your face where I have like a thousand hours. Oh, you know what? Right. So I let go, let go. I don't want to, but I'm gonna try. When she left me, yeah, but a little bit inside, you know, you know, maybe things are gonna be alright. Cause I just wanna see the light. Yeah, I just wanna see the light. Join us next time as we show you from above and below this incredible place we get to call home. As always, thanks for watching. A special thanks to our patrons for your support. These videos are made possible because of you all. Chara Makasi. Bye.